Okay, hello there, my world literature class. We are on the third week of the lecture. I am presenting to you the lesson or lecture I have for the third week of October. Sorry for the delayed uploading because of the of the painful experience that we had this past few days. So I wasn't able to upload, but I have set all of this PowerPoint in your YouTube in your in our GC or group chat already for your proper review. And now our lecture is all about stories of adventure. And uh, it's coming from Greek and Roman literature. So basically, the objective of this lesson is all about um, the, uh, first, we have to identify themes in complete sentences out of the literary piece of, uh, text that we're going to discuss or watch in the, in the link. We're going to also establish a moral concept and personal experiences out of the stories. We're going to recognize political concepts in Roman and Greek legends. And also we're going to generate the significance of the story on a personal and communal level. So basically the topic outline of this story is is um first we have the Oedipus uh, Rex, the story of the Oedipus Rex, the Aeneid the Iliad, the Odyssey, the Quest of the Golden Fleece, and the Hercules. So basically, we all know that this is just an overview of all the uh, this literary pieces. Why? Because you already have your calendar with you from the very beginning of this program, and I've asked everyone to do advanced reading for the summary or excerpts of this story so that you will have a more comprehensive view of all these literary pieces that should be discussed in the class. Okay, so to have a recap, Maboyang Lahat, we are now moving to the next topic of this course because we are done with a series on stories of creation, love, and adventures. Our next stories are more promising and we will learn new insights and reflections that will impact our lives for more. So happy watching everyone. But before I will end up, of course, I have to start the, um, the lecture by giving you the overview of all the, the literary, literary pieces that I have just uh, told you. But I am recommending you to watch the movie clips, the video clips upload in the internet. And I'm giving you the link as I do the, the overview, as I share to you the overview of each literary piece. So the Oedipus Rex is all about the Oedipus. The king's main idea is that one cannot defy the gods without suffering severe consequences. The play is all about Oedipus, the king of Thebes, who kills his father and ends up marrying his mother. So you notice that the theme of the story is very popular and very familiar because there are a lot of stories coming up with the same theme. So I want you to watch the you, uh, the you, the link on YouTube, which I, I sent you in the PowerPoint in our GC. So from this story, it tells that even when the terrible truth is revealed, Oedipus Rex remains in denial. So that would be the most most surprising part of the story because you are to find you are to find out and gain insights from the reaction or actions of Oedipus Rex. Okay, from there we have the Aeneid. The Aeneid have several themes and uh, or we could say that there are several themes manifested in the Aeneid and its overarching theme is the escape from Troy and the beginnings of Rome. The story tells how Aeneas sails west to escape the destruction of their city and sail west Setting in what became Rome, another theme is Destiny of Fate. And of course, I have sent you in the link that you have to watch the YouTube uh, link there. So that again, as I have told you, you will encounter much uh, insights and reflections out of the story. Watching it on a, on a visual or a video uh, presentation would be better than just listening to the story or just reading the story. Watching the the video presentation would be uh, would be giving you more interest and more appreciative attitude of the movie clip or video clip. 
Okay, the Iliad is the next, and the Iliad begins 10 years in the stage of Troy by the Greek forces led by King of My Mycenae. The Greeks are quarreling about whether or not to return uh, Chryseis, a Trojan captive of Agamemnon, to her father Chryseis, a priest of Apollo. So basically, all of this, the, the Oedipus Rex, the Iliad, the um, Aeneid, these are chapters found in one literary piece. So it is uh, dissected into, into stories. So basically, you will come to encounter that the stories I am presenting to you uh, overlap each other. They overlap. They have stories like you could find some uh, phenomen phenomena or circumstances in the Iliad, which is found in the um, stories of Amy. So something like that. So again, I have sent you the link that you need to watch for this one so that you will have a more comprehensive understanding of this literary piece, the Iliad. And the next one is the Odyssey. The Odyssey involves the irresistible plot line of a worthy hero trying desperately to get back to his city, his family, and his throne. Apart from it being a timeless story for its terrifying monsters, rip roaring action scenes and wells, uh, there are a lot of insights, there are a lot of reflections that we could exhaust from this literary piece, the Odyssey. So please do not uh, do not um, miss to watch this. So I again, as I have done with the other stories that we we have in the class, I've also sent you the link and uh, of the of this literary piece in the YouTube. So please watch that. And then we have the quest of the Golden Fleece. What's what's this all about. It is a classic story of betrayal and vengeance. It begins when Jason's uncle Peleus kills Jason's, Jason's father and takes his throne. The Greek myth of Jason and the Golden Fleece is one of the oldest myths of a hero's quest. So do not forget to watch this one. I am just giving you an overview of those stories because um, because of the limited time that we have in our virtual classes so that's why i am just giving you the overview of all these literary pieces so please do not miss to watch those video please and then we have the last one is the hercules hercules was the son of zeus and Alcmene. zeus who was always chasing one woman or another took on the form of Alcmene's husband Antiphrion and visited Alcmene one night in her bed so Hercules was born, a demigod with incredible strength and stamina. So basically, Hercules is the son of Zeus the Alchemy. So I want you to watch also this one for a more comprehensive underst uh, understanding of this uh, literary piece. So basically, on this, after watching the video clips of this one, I want you to internalize and draw insights and reflections out of this video clips that you had watched in the internet. But of course, side by side with this, I am not giving you any assignment and activity for this uh, for now because I want you to focus on the pieces I have just sent you last week. And we will be discussing all of these stories in the next meetings to come. And of course, uh, I have my references in the um, GC also sent with the PowerPoint. And I will always have to have my with pipes line taken from Iliad and Odyssey. Hateful to me at the gates of hate is the man who hides one thing in his heart and picks another. So I want to internalize on that line and try to understand it. I know you get you get the meaning. It's clear. So uh, happy listening class and I hope it's a good day for everyone. God bless everyone. I love you all. Uh, let's overcome our stresses because of this typhoon and pandemic, at the same time, everybody's experience, experiencing a lot of uh, things. And I hope everybody doesn't forget to pray for everyone and for the whole world. I love you all. God bless everyone.